Hello everyone and welcome to Understanding Spirit. Uh, today we are going to discuss Archangels um, and also I'll give you some tips on how to use them for um, improving your clairvoyance. We're going to specifically work with Archangel Michael today and as usual I will move through it quickly um, just to give you the information and if you wish to do it I want you to just do it at your own pace. Okay so we carry blockages with our uh, clairvoyance and we can um, make ourselves feel like we're maybe not worthy of communicating with the divine spirit. Now that can come from uh, somebody can make a flip comment whether it's a friend, a co-worker, a boss, a, you know a parent and they say it for a moment, they release it, get on with their lives. But for us, it sits with us, you know, energetically. And it feels like it's real, but it might not be, right? And we can sometimes use that to make ourselves feel like we're not worthy of connecting with spirit and with tuning in with our higher selves. Okay, so I'm going to give you some affirmations today to work with Archangel Michael to say for yourself and just, um, you know, work on that and just keep releasing, all right, until you're able to um, see clearly. And there are a lot of Archangels who work with different kinds of blockages. Today, we're just going to work with Archangel Michael. Everybody uh, who knows anything about angels knows Archangel Michael. So, um, and he is uh, the one in charge of, um, you know, removing anything horrible, whether it's in your house or, you know, around you, whatever. So, um, it's a good one to start with for sure. Okay, so um, with an affirmation, uh, it's really important to um, do it before you start your clairvoyant uh, work, before you start any kind of psychic uh, mediumship work. Um, you set out the intention, you do the affirmation for yourself, and you also set out the, the intention of who you want to work with. All right, so I'm just going to get you to just send out a thought to Archangel Michael that you want to work with him today. Now remember, Archangels have never been human. They are omnipresent, so they can be with all of us at the same time. Okay, so don't feel like you're taking this powerful being away from somebody who potentially needs it more than you at this moment. All right, um, so uh, I want you to just say to yourself, it doesn't matter whether you have your eyes open or closed, I just want you to say to yourself, Archangel Michael, please cleanse my mind and my body of all fears, negativities that are holding me back. And I want you to just breathe in now all light, positivity, and just release with your breath any fears, any negativity, anything that you can think of that is holding you back. You do this three times, so breathe in light and positivity and just release all fears and negativity. Again, breathe in light and positivity and breathe out any fears regarding your mediumship work and anything that's holding you back, any negative thoughts, just release them out into the universe. Don't worry about what happens to them. Spirit will transmute them and do whatever they see is fit for that energy, okay? Now I want you again to say to yourself now, I am willing to surrender all fears and uncertainties surrounding seeing my guide, seeing archangels, communicating with archangels, communicating with spirit. And I want you again to breathe in light and positivity. And as you breathe out, release all the fears, all the negativity that you're hanging on to. 
your lack of self-worth regarding this stuff. Again, breathe in light and positivity, releasing all fears and negativity, just pushing it out and just removing it energetically from within you. With archangels, they always want to be thanked, they always want to be invited in, and they always want to be thanked. And we say thank you, thank you, thank you three times, all right, with archangels. There is a misconception that um, our, our angels will just come willy-nilly and help you. That's not the case. Uh, you need to invite an archangel to come and assist you and you need to tell them what you want assistance with specifically. I've lost my car keys. Um, can you help me find a new home? Um, can you guide me towards, um, you know, the right employment? Whatever you're wishing to ask assistance for. They, have, uh, they don't have authority to just interfere without your permission. Your main guide, however, who we communicated with in the first um, show, um, ha can um, intervene in your life and uh, guide you, all right? If you're making a mistake or whatever. My guide is always giving me information, always, never stops, right? Uh, but an archangel will never come unless I invite them, all right? My guide will give me everything from um, if I'm going to drop something and break it, she'll say to me, don't do that, you're going to break it, right? I like to think that I listen to my guide all the time, but sometimes I'm like, thanks for the warning, I won't break it. Sure enough, I break it. So um, it's always continuous, little things like that. Once you communicate, um, you know, with your guide, you will constantly get little bits of information where they're constantly trying to help you, right? Um, so what we're going to do now, I do want to go into um, a few affirmations which are important um, uh, to remove, it helps remove the blockages with clairvoyance um, because, again, you know, it's very powerful and the I am is very powerful. It's connected to the divine and we are always connected to that higher source, to our higher self, um, where we are, where we think, act, feel, speak with our highest good. And that's where we always want to be connecting with. So when you give an affirmation and it starts with I am, you are acknowledging who you are. Because so often we forget that internally, in spirit, we are perfect. Okay, so the uh, first one, and you can, again, you can close your eyes for this or leave them open. Whatever works for you is perfectly fine. Okay, I am clairvoyant. I am highly intuitive. I love and honor my spirit. I am highly visual and I see everything. I am worthy. Repeat those all the time before you do your work, believe in yourself, believe in what you're saying and know that spirit will help you if you constantly put out the intention of what you want to do at that moment, okay? So I'm going to give you, as usual, a very quick little meditation to connect with Archangel Michael and um, we will go through it faster. So just slow it down at your own time. It's just very basic. So I want you to put a thought out to Archangel Michael that you want to communicate with him through this meditation. Okay, and just close your eyes. And I want you to just breathe into the counter four, 
hold to the count of four and breathe out to the count of four. Breathe into the count of four, hold to the count of four, breathe out to the count of four. Hold into the count of four, hold to the count of four, and breathe it out to the count of four. Last one, breathe into the count of four, hold to the count of four, and breathe out to a count of four. Now I want you to just focus on Archangel Michael, start to visualize what you know of him. And I want you to just rest a question in your mind and send it out to him. And to see what your response is. Are you seeing anything? Are you hearing anything? Are you getting a gut reaction to your question? Remember, see, sense, feel, or hear your answer. Especially if you're just starting off. Take note of what the first thing is that comes in your head, because that's the most important. What is this Archangel saying to you right now? As soon as you start to feel your answer coming, just take note of everything that you're seeing or hearing. Ask as many questions as you want at that particular time. You're not restricted in any way. You can ask about your clairvoyance. You can ask about anything else that's troubling you as well while you're there. And just start to slowly bring yourself back when you're ready. Okay. And always remember to write everything down straight away. Um, we always think we're going to remember. We don't. That's the basic truth right we we will miss things so right always have a notebook next to you write everything down you can do this as often as you want and just enjoy your experience with this archangel of course you can always call out to him uh if you're ever scared in any moment so um have a good week everybody remember smile be nice to everybody always think act and feel with your highest self you will have a great day and you will give everybody else another a great experience with you all right goodbye and uh take care i'll see you next week bye